Hello my friends, this is Paul Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango and today it's maybe gonna be a little bit funny but I have an idea how to make a portable antenna. I had an idea to use a tape measure uh, as the radiator of uh, portable antenna. So therefore I, I give this uh, name a tape measure and fed half wave multiband antenna. And uh, in this video, I would like to make this antenna and possibly to test if it's possible to use this type of uh, antenna. And uh, I had uh, some criteria uh, why I would like to use this kind of antenna. So the first one is that the antenna should not be uh, much heavy. Uh, the other thing is that the antenna should be a small size. Uh, it should uh, fit in my pocket or something like that. And the other thing is uh, to use um, the antenna um, or deploy the antenna as fast as I can. Because maybe you know when you're somewhere up there and uh, if you uh, see that uh, the rain or storm is coming to you or towards you, so you are you don't have much time to deploy the antenna so that is that is also a good criteria uh, for my next portable antenna so fast deployment and uh, vice versa is the the other point so uh, therefore i i decided for this little experiment i never seen something like that before this was just my idea i don't know if, if, if it will actually work but i bought this kind of um, this is a 50 yeah 50 meter long and 10 millimeter wide um it's uh, made by festa uh, but the main th uh, thing is that is the steel tape okay it's a steel tape not uh, any any other like plastics or or something okay so we need to to use of course um, a steel tape of this measure okay so i have a 50 meters because uh, if i would like to use 80 meter band i need a half wave and that means i will need about uh, 40 meter long and i still have some reserve uh, 10 meters of this uh, of this measure so that's my plan and now let's go start with this uh, funny project. All right, so welcome back and here you can see these old components uh, which I would like to use in my next antenna project. It is a 50 meter long Festa, uh, the tape measure and 10 millimeter wide tape inside. The tape is painted and we need to remove the paint on the place where I would like to connect this little crocodile. So it will looks like this. All right, so there will be connection between uh, this tape and between 49 to one unun. All right, for my 49 to 1 Unun, I will use this little toroid core. It is the FT5043, maybe. I'm still not sure because it was purchased a very long time ago. So, But, but I guess that the FT5043 should be fine for you if you would like to make the same thing. All right. And uh, the wire I'm using is the... Um, 0.4 millimeter thick uh, enamelled copper, copper wire. Also small uh, female BNC socket with the nut on it because I would like to drill a small hole into the body of this uh, of this uh, tape measure. I don't know, maybe maybe somewhere here and there will be installed this uh, little socket and inside the body 
of this uh, thing will be uh, this small turret and here will be the wire this black wire with the crocodile connected to the tape like here yeah that is my plan so wish me luck and let's go to work So here we can see inside this tape measure. All right. So now I think that the best place for the B and C connector should be maybe here, because here we have the tape here should be the BNC connector and maybe here I could glue the uh, little transformer and the end from this transformer should go here with the wire connection yeah yeah that is my plan and yeah it's gonna be fine So we have a small hole here and now I need to drill the bigger one for the uh, BNC socket. No, it's still small. Just one more. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this is very good. I prepare the grounding. And now I need to fix the nut here. Uh, for fixing the nut, I'm going to use a uh, old an old uh, male connector and I'm going to use it this way all right and I need to 
use the uh, 13, 13 millimeter key or the wrench. I will fix this here on this place, right? And from the second side, I will do something like this. But not much because the BNC connector can lose, all right? Right here. These small things on this side can be loose if you tight too much on this connector. All right, so the BNC is there. And now it's time for this uh, little uh, transformer. All right, so for this transformer, I have uh, something around seven, uh, 700 millimeter uh, long uh, copper wire and I have to bend maybe the last 10 centimeters of this wire. We have to bend this wire to two parts like this, right? And we have to leave the rest of the wire like, like here. And now we need to twist these both sides of the wire like this. Or you can use the screwdriver and fix the wire here on the end and very slowly rotate the both wires. I believe it is faster than before. Okay, so the first part of the transformer is ready. And now we need to make a two turns across the uh, turret. This end is going to the center pin of the BNC connector. And the other end is going to the uh, ground position. All right, so here we have a two turns of this transformer. Uh, every turn, uh, every time when the wire is going through the hole, it counts like a one turn, okay? So here is the one and there is a two. No, I have a three turns actually in my case. Three turns could be better for the lower frequencies. But okay, I corrected my transformer. Now it is a two turns, as you can see inside. There are two turns coming across the, the toroid core, all right? So I need to remove this twisting here. So this is the end going to the center pin and with the rest of the wire, we have to make another uh, 12 turns. And on the turn number eight, like here, 
we have to pass this uh, eight turn through the hole to the another side like here so so we have a uh, eight turn going to the other side to the opposite side as you can see right here and continue to make another seven turns here on the other side like this All right be careful to not much scratch the enamel on the wire because uh, the uh, toroids have the very sharp edges and as you can see here this is the uh, finished transformer so let's count again here we have the primary and it has a two twisted turns as you can see that uh, there is the turn number one turn number two this end is going to the uh, bnc connector to the center pole and we have number three number four number five number six number seven this is number eight this is number nine 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So this is the 14, and this 14 end is going to the uh, uh, tape measure and uh, is going uh, through the uh, crocodile. All right, so as uh, the glue, I will use this uh, silicone, which is uh, good glue for this kind of applications. And you can easily to remove this thing if, if something wrong. and it doesn't fire all right so here you can see that how it looks like and uh, actually it also fixed the wires on the place actually i did something wrong Oh man, I need to rotate to the another side in this transformer. Yeah, now is it fine? Okay. be sure that <laughs> it is enough the glue on it oh gosh <laughs> okay so now let me dry this thing and i need to continue to make another hole here for this uh, black wire it will be the output for antenna connection and now i will prepare the uh, crocodile i need to make connection here Okay, let's 
perfect. Okay, now I just need to cut the right length of this wire. And here will be the another hole for terminal. And I will use the uh, soldering eye. And this soldering eye will be between the wire from toroid and between the wire from uh, crocodile. So I'm using a small screw, number five or five millimeter screw. This way. Washer. And here is this small eye. I will place this I will place this eye here and the fun washer and the nut I need to be careful because the silicone is still very soft and here you can see how this antenna will look like after finish. So just the screw visible from the outer side and also the socket and transformer inside. Now I have to make connections, soldering job here and here. All right. Whew. Yeah, it should be fixed. All right, so there's enough space for this little wire. And I need to cut the wire here, somewhere here. This is the ground, this twisted wire. So it should be cut somewhere here. Even more. Okay, and this is the hot end. Okay, perfect. And uh, now I need to remove, I need to remove the uh, layer isolation from uh, this wire and as I don't have the uh, acid so I need to use just a flame I need to burn this layer with the flame okay so now just uh, scratch these uh, wires and solder on the connectors. All right, I had to glue this toroid again because uh, it is still fresh, it's still soft. So if I can recommend to you uh, do this or complete this toroid uh, before you <laughs> mount it, 
inside uh, this box because um, yeah it is uh, much difficult then to do these things so I scratched the ends of this wire and now I will do the final uh, uh, soldering job Okay. So connections are there and I just need to uh, check continuity between uh, the main antenna socket and between the connector. Yes, it is fine. And also ground, it is fine. Connection is okay. Yeah, I think would be would be good idea to to put a small piece of protection and for this thing I should use maybe this little piece of paper and stick this paper to uh, to the uh, transformer to protect this transformer in any case from this um, a steel tape because as you can see if I lose the steel tape you see that it is close to the uh, uh, to the transformer All right, we have a rope here. Put it here. And close the door. It is fitting very well. Good. So just the screws. And before I close the doors or the front uh, panel of this uh, tape measure, uh, we need to connect here the wire with the crocodile. So I plan to use uh, 15 meter, uh, sorry, uh, 15 centimeters of this wire but we have to count with the end of the crocodile here and end here so this will be the antenna extension actually so if we will count the length of the antenna radiator we need to count with this extension length 15 centimeters and I hope that it will be enough. One moment, I have to check. So here is the 15 centimeters. Here is the screw. And here's the tape. Yeah, it is fine. Yeah, 15 centimeters will be good. Uh, 
and another end of this wire will be ended by this little soldering eye. And to be sure that uh, that the connection is 100% fine, you need to clean soldering eye. All right, so this is the antenna extension, actually, or the jumper, the jumper between transformer and antenna tape. And as you can see here, we need to make a little hole to the plastic Right, and what about this hole? Of course, this is much better now. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, so we need, we need a washer, but Also, we need a fan washer. The screw. Washer. And the nut. Okay. And one more thing I decided to do is uh, to shorten the um, type measure to 40 meters, as you can see here. We have a 40 meter length, so the waist 10 meters, I just uh, cut it and put away. I don't need it. So just the 40 meters. And in this case, the full size of this uh, um, tape measure will be tuned for, or should be tuned for 80 meter band. And uh, to prevent of losing this uh, tape, I did this little modification. As you can see, there's, there is the small screw. And I added also some little piece of rubber inside between these walls. So that is my modification and the waste is here. This is going to, to the bin to the trash. Okay, and the reason why I did such a thing is that when I want to, uh, when I want to fix uh, the antenna, so let's say we have a three or something like here, and, and I will be here. So this is the start point. So I will need maybe some kind of hook or something. You can see also 
the rope here on on the body of this of this tape measure so i will use this little rope to fix the antenna towards the ground so let's say i maybe use some kind of hook or something and i will fix this little uh, this little rope so here will be the tape measure with antenna and the tape will be fixed somewhere there on the tree so the force from this antenna will going through the body of this uh, tape measure through the rope to the hook which uh, should be inserted maybe to the ground or something or maybe I can hang it, uh, to the tree okay I don't know now I just need to fix this somehow so this is this is my modification and the length of the full size uh, of this let's say wire this is the uh, this is the tape is uh, 40 meters almost 40 meters because we need uh, a little bit less than 40 meters mm, maybe 39.7 maybe 39.6 we will see okay so let me close the enclosure complete the antenna and then I would like to take the antenna somewhere to the garden or or behind the house and test if this antenna will work. so now just uh, I need to roll in the whole tape inside the box and done okay so 40 meter and fed tape measure half wave antenna is maybe uh, finished and yeah now it's time to test this thing outdoors <laughs> <laughs>